can you just introduce yourself and where you're from? Uh, my name is Johan and I'm from Sweden and I play in a band called Spar Sansa. Okay, can you just basically explain how you work as a collective, um, as a band basically? Uh, yeah, basically we work uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a group of five people that kind of want to just play music together. And um, we decided in 2006 that we wanted to start our own company and, and our own record label. And that's when we started this cooperative. So um, everyone in the band is involved in like everything, almost everything. But we got help in different kinds of areas, like management and stuff like that. Okay, so is it that you kind of share the profits and it's democratic and all that? There are no profits. <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, we, we share everything, you know. So if there is any profit left, we share it. And, and like, why did you choose to actually be a cooperative? Um, well, actually, it seems like a, a very simple kind of form to start actually in the beginning. I didn't know anything, it was like, well, it was actually a coincidence, so, and we have learned along the way. So. Where did the actual original idea come from then, who like came up with it, or did you just find out about it? And then I just found out about it, we were thinking about starting a different uh, kind of company, but uh, we didn't have the, uh, the money to, that was needed to start it, so cooperative was actually the only only thing that was uh, the only thing we, we really could start, you know. So how, like, what kind of difference has it made to actually like, be a cooperative rather than sort of a normal like, system of music? I don't know actually. <laughs> I mean, I mean, even though we would have started a different kind of company, we would, we would probably still be a, a democracy, you know, in the band, because we've always been a democracy. Everyone is in, has seen the band is equal, you know, to everyone else, and we've always shared profits, and, uh, and, you know, we've shared everything, and everyone is involved in every decision that we make, so I don't, I don't know if there's a really big difference, but it, it's, it was kind of easy to start, and it was, it, it's pretty easy to run as well, uh, and that is needed, you know, when you're like, like this on tour, for, for a few days, you, you don't have time to like, sit in an office and do like keeping the books, so yeah. we got help with that as well. So. Uh, yeah. um, kind of are you like quite unique then, because I've never heard this before, uh, is there any other bands that kind of go in this market? Actually in our area it's been quite a lot of bands that have been starting cooperatives uh, this year actually. Um, I think they might have been a little bit influenced by, by us of course, we have run this for uh, couple of years now, since 2006, um, so uh, there are a lot of friends that we know in our hometown and in our neighborhood or our, our area that has been influenced by us and started. And actually, um, we got rewarded uh, cooperative of the year in our region this year, and another band uh, that we know as well uh, was also rewarded in some other kind of different, uh, I don't know. How to, how to say it in English, but uh, like uh, new, new cooperative, mm -hmm. and they, they got rewarded for that too. So. Would you recommend it as a kind of model for bands? Yeah, I really would. I really would. Um, but then I would, I would also tell bands to like think twice before they do it, because most of the bands that are around, they do it for like a hobby, you know, and you really, really, really need to know what you're doing when you're starting the cooperative. I mean, it's all about money uh, in the in the end. So you really need to know like to where where you're gonna get your money from. If it's from gigs or tours or records, or whatever, you really need to know that. So you think you th I think you really need to have a, a longer plan. And that's what we did when we started. We made a, a three year plan on how to uh, release our third album um, and started it. So, so we had a actually pretty worked out plan for, for how to do it. Okay. Um, so how long have you been together? Uh, have you been together always at the Cop or were you sort of previously a band and then? Um, we, were, we started out as a band in 1996. Uh, with a little bit of different members in the band, of course. I joined in 1997 and we changed our singer in, in the 
year 2000 and in 2008 I think we got a new guitar player so um, we've been around for a while but actually we have we didn't actually think about starting our own business until we released two albums on a very very bad record label and then we thought that okay we could do this like five times better than they could do it so that's when we started it. And uh, for people that are uninitiated, can you describe kind of the music? And what you oh, the music like? is um, very heavy and very dark. It's uh, metal, uh, but it's uh, kind of easy to listen on. We have uh, lots of great melodies, but uh, mainly it's, it's pretty dark. Thanks. Oh, and I was getting you so mentioned it before, but do you actually work with any other cooperatives, bands, or other bands? Um, no, not really. We we know actually other uh, bands that are co cooperatives, and we have been working lately with the cooperative like um, Companion in Sweden uh, lately. But um, otherwise, no, not really. Actually. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's basically all I needed. Okay. Thank yeah, you. that's brilliant. Thank you.